day everyone it is day two of a national protest in nigeria everyone is frustrated nationwide with justified reasons and something needs to be done to ease the hearts of the people to avoid further loss of lives and properties nigeria is not a one-man's land hence it is not a one-man's problem nigeria can only be fixed by the collective efforts of everyone in the government ranging from the president the governors the senators the house of reps members the house of assembly members down to local government chairmen and councillors what happens when the federal government understands the plight of the people and the state or local government does not or vice versa the job still remains undone leaving thousands hungry suffering and jobless the hike in prices of food water electricity transportation security and communication is alarming there is hunger in the land nigeria cannot be fixed by having half bad eggs and half good eggs all the lawmakers need to be in sync with the people's plight to fix nigeria only then can what is rightfully allocated to the grassroots get to them this should be a government for the people not against them and our armed forces Please, refrain from using excessive force on the people. As everyone has a right to air their voices and demand for transparency, accountability and participation to avoid further loss of lives and properties by our own people. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're seeing this video and a happy new month to everyone. Today is August 1st, which is day one of the national protest in Nigeria. We all know that the masses are suffering. We all know that the masses want a better way of living, hence the protest. And there is nothing wrong in protesting, absolutely nothing wrong in wanting a change or a better way of living. There is nothing wrong in airing your voices. But there is everything wrong in violence. Once violence gets involved, it defeats the whole purpose of a protest. So please, I urge everyone to try and make this protest as peaceful as possible so that the voice of the masses will be heard and actions will be taken on it. And everyone will return to their homes in one piece. We have seen series of violent protests. We know how it all went. All we can hope and pray for is that this protest goes differently and still your voices will be heard and actions will be taken on it. Once again, this is a call for a peaceful protest. But see when Nigeria are not favor. You when Nigeria are not favor. If Nigeria are favor you, I don't believe say you will marry old man. Say you will marry your great 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 grand 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 father or your forefathers. I wish somebody like you did for Western world. I don't see any reason why you go marry old man like that. Let's put joke aside. If not be the poverty, if not be the suffering within the country, we make you decide to say okay, because say the man gets you can become any wife. Now you make you go, I don't know the list you did for the marriage self. If not be saying a poverty and the harsh you put in this country, we make you run. Go marry your old, old man. We be say rich to become your great great grandfather. 